Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make these really cute little treat bags to give out for Halloween this year. These are perfect to just put outside in front of a sign that says candy here. So that way trick-or-treaters and people feel a little bit more comfortable when they have their kids out trick-or-treating this year. I'm Jessica Lynn. Welcome to my design studio. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the supplies we're going to need. We need scissors. We're going to be using some ribbon. This is kind of a plastic curling ribbon that you can pick up at the dollar store. I've got these packages here of treat bags. You can get them, they come in a 20 pack and they were actually just at the Dollar Tree. That's where I picked those up. And we have candy. I picked up some packages of these little like mini pops they're like little lollipops. And then also I picked up a big bag of assorted chocolates. Okay, let's go ahead and make this happen. First, I need to open up these bags and get my little treat bags out of here. You'll notice that they come with some twist ties too in here, which is great. And then also the top one, this first one in here, it happened to have like a little piece of paper inside and you just need to remove that. That's only in place just because they wanna show you the graphics on you know the treat bags when you're purchasing it. But otherwise you just need to remove it. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of my ribbon so it's ready to go. Basically, I'm only cutting it about two feet, so I fold it over itself, it's about one foot, and then I fold it back over itself, so I've got about two feet there. That's a perfect amount to just tie off the treat bag and to curl it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a bunch of this ribbon and just have it ready to go. This Halloween's tradition, we're just gonna be putting these treat bags out on our yard in the front, and then we're gonna stay home and we've got a bucket of candy that we're gonna eat and we're gonna watch a scary movie. What's your family's tradition this year? Leave a comment below. You can see I have a mountain of ribbon, so let's go ahead and start on our treat bags. Let's take our first one, and we are gonna fill it with about two chocolates and a lollipop. Now let's go ahead and add a twist tie, and I'm gonna just probably put the twist tie just barely above the candy, somewhere in the middle of the treat bag. I always like to hand out about two or three pieces of candy when trick-or-treaters come up to the house, so I figured that would be the best amount to put in these little treat bags. We're gonna add the ribbon next, so go ahead and just tie it off around where you have the twist tie. I always like curling ribbon because it looks so cute. So all you have to do is take some scissors and the sharp edge and put your thumb down and hold on to the ribbon, and as you pull, pull it through and you're pulling the ribbon through, it just automatically curls, curls the ribbon up, which is such a fantastic little trick. And there we have our first little treat bag done. I'm gonna show you how to do this one more time. I'm gonna take a couple pieces of candy, put it inside, and I'm gonna try to make it very fair where I always put two chocolates and one lollipop for every single one of these. That way it's just fair for all the kids when they get one of my treat bags from our house. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your family's planning to do this year, whether you're just gonna skip this year for Halloween and not give out any candy, or if you're gonna put out little treat bags or just put out a bowl of candy this year and let kids, um, come and collect because I have a feeling that there's still going to be trick-or-treaters and a few families that are going to be out there doing the trick-or-treating this year. So let me know down below how you feel about it and maybe what you've thought about doing or what you guys are doing for your trick-or-treating this year. Two down and another 98 more to go because I technically have a hundred treat bags and more chocolates. So I'm just gonna keep going until I've made all hundred of these treat bags. Here we are filling them up into a bowl. I just wanna show you, you can use anything to put outside. You can use even a Tupperware bin, 
a very large bucket, a bowl, whatever you have that you can put these little treats, treat bags into. And when it comes time to setting them outside, it's always a good idea to have a little sign that reads candy here. Maybe put your pumpkins that you've carved around it so that people will notice it. And if you like both of these signs, you can get them right on my Etsy store. The instant download design for these are on the Etsy store. So I'll put the link below so you know right where to go to get those. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another fun decorating video. Thanks so much for watching.